Greg, why don't you just introduce yourself to everyone and start telling your story? Yeah, Mark, uh, my name is Greg uh, Salas from the Illinois, from Chicago uh, suburban area. Um, I started a company, well, actually tomorrow, October t uh, 11, it's going to be my fourth, fourth year. It's going to be four years tomorrow. And uh, actually, I started one day, you know, working like usual, our, our day jobs, you know, from six to five, you know, being a production manager, working in a corporate uh, company, you know, it was, I got kind of tired of the, co the corporation uh, environment. One day at night, was I was searching the web and uh, came across um, your website, Military Maintenance, and I was just looking for ideas for a new business, something small that it would not take a lot of capital. I didn't have a lot of capital back then. Well, I don't have it now, but I was just looking something affordable where I can be able to get started on my own. And that's where I came across military maintenance. That's where we, I contact you and Tori and uh, you guys gave me my first set of tools to get started. My first uh, introduction to the uh, janitorial business. Uh, me not coming in with no experience whatsoever, just what we what we had in our military background, um, I thought it was a good idea, so I went for it, and slowly but surely, uh, during working my uh, day job, I uh, got a first referral with a small account one time a week from a friend uh, at work that his wife worked in a small office, and uh, they introduced me, and the first day I got the account, walked in, they saw the our, our representation. You know, well dressed, you know, collar shirt and everything with my logo, and they were impressed. You know, we walked in there and walked out with a contract in hand, and uh, that was my first contract, and that held me there for but a few months until, and then unfortunately we got the COVID right after that. Um, but it was it was an introduction, so something new to for myself and my family. I started cleaning the, the offices myself, you know, something was simple, nothing crazy. Uh, and then after that, um, after COVID, everything slowed down. It was it was just crazy. We didn't know what what would happen. It got to the point where the business where I was working at, uh, it shut down, shut down completely and moved plan to a different state. And I think that was my sign for, for myself that there was it, you know, I got either take this the, take it by make it a full time for myself and go for it and try it and see what what would happen with the business and here I am I'm trying to get it and we're growing I'm, I'm blessed that we, every every year we have grown a little bit um every time we grow uh we well first of all I I try to clean the accounts first just because yeah. they're small enough where where I, I could do it myself once I get the hang of it and I get a good feel for it, I, I start hiring to replace me and leave someone in place. Right now, I got about six employees now within the four years that I've been in business. Um, and a few accounts, we probably got like five, six accounts from small to mid and now one large account that we just acquired last month. Um, the large account has been a good challenge. Uh, yeah. Because it's a big account. It's it's been a, it's something new that was thrown at. It was, and I'm a for, I'm fortunate that um, that all my accounts that I have gotten, are been referrals, referrals from someone or from or from another veteran, that uh they refer us and and you know the reputation we have, they looked us up online and they say you know what military maintenance with the word military in it, expectations are high so we try to represent that. We come in there, give them the best quality, their best representation, and uh, I think the word of mouth is the big key for for advertisement, the number one key for us. Yeah, uh, we haven't advertised ourselves much in marketing, um, not yet, because I don't want to overdo it for myself where I get out of control and not be able to manage it. But slowly but surely, we we been increasing as our as our um, profits are growing. Eventually, we start investing back into the company. And hopefully get it more into automated, higher um, supervisors, leads, 
eventually we want to get to that point in our company where we want to grow that big. But right now, starting now with the wife is a big help. You know, you got Tori on your hand is your right hand as well as my my wife is my right hand. If it we both work hard, uh, when I'm not available, she jumps in and. Even though she has a full time job, she she jumps in when we have to, and we get stuff done. Even my kids sometimes will jump in. You know, I got a sixteen year old, a twenty three, and a thirteen year old. Sometimes they'll they'll go with me at evenings and clean. It's a family business, right? So yeah, we, I did that jump too. In and in, they know that you know we're we're cleaning, but in our mind, back of our mind, it said it's just temporary. And everything's gonna get better, and you know, it'll get to the point where we don't have to clean. That's our main goal. You know, get keep growing, have vacations, and still make money while you're sleeping. Yeah. While people are working for you. Yeah. That's the biggest thing with our goal that we want to get into, you know, like every other business that grows. Yeah. Um right now the, the big account, it's been challenging just because. First of all, we we I started cleaning it too. Me, my wife. Now, 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 how big is this account, and what is it? It's a it's a one million square feet facility, but the cleanable space is about say thirty thousand square foot. So Look, and they're yeah, they're about they're four running, hours of work. They're running twenty four seven seven days a week. So we're there cleaning, you know, right 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 after every shift. We're, we're there cleaning. So um, after we went, I went about two weeks by myself and my wife. And once I figure out a routine and everything else, I had a, in the meantime, I had a posted an ND for a, a resume to, to fire someone. We were looking at resumes while we were working. And um, within three weeks, I was able to get people in there, train them, train them about for another one or two weeks. And right now they just taking over right now. So I'm sitting back home now and then, yeah, wonderful. And just managing uh from home. That's wonderful. I'll stop by, do I'll stop by, do my quality checks, stop by to see if anything's missing or they need supplies or whatever it is, uh, help. I uh, will jump so, in so, and so do you have a janitor on site twenty four hours a day? No. They they work in the beginning of the, every shift. They work about five hours. I got two teams. Five two hours for on... thirty thousand square feet. Yeah, and, and it's and it's a. What kind of cleaning big... are you doing? We're doing basic cleaning, but the facility it it's it's dirty. It has a lot of dust, a lot of mm -hmm. dust everywhere. So as soon as you clean right behind it, there's yeah. people uh, walking and uh, tracking. That, yeah. They're tracking dust right behind you. So, you know, I keep telling my my employees, you know, you do your best. Being the best you can, and that's all we can do. You know, we. Well, we... that's what I find. You know, when you're working around people, because that's an unusual account. Usually, you clean an account. There's nobody there, but when you clean an account, when people are busy working, I I just find the expectations go down. You know, they realize you know you're you're limited in how much you can do, and and basically just yes. don't get in their way. You know, right? <laughs> just let them that's do their true. work. That's very true. Yeah, it's frustrating sometimes, but. Actually, the first few weeks it was kind of frustrating because our mindset is like we want to leave it perfect for the customer. Yeah, yeah. But once once you're there a few weeks and you notice what the trend is when when some of them don't have respect for that, but you know we still keep our heads up and do our best, and it's it's noticeable. Customer yeah. notices the difference from even though in our side in our mind it's like it's not the best, it's not perfect, but for them it's like oh this is perfect, this is clean. Oh wow, so, good. You know that's that gives us a big satisfaction that the customer's happy and you know we want to give them the best service we can. So it's five hours a day, seven days a week, or what? Yes, yes. Wow. Or wow. Actually five five hours in the morning with two teams. I mean, two persons in the morning and two persons in the evening. Wow. So, so it's really ten hours a day. Ten hours a day wow. plus the weekend. Wow. So well. So uh. uh if I can, let me let me go back a little bit. So so when you when you uh, first started getting accounts and you 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 use a contract and the person signed the contract and everything, 
Uh, how did you go about making the bid and, and what kind of contract did you use? I think these are some of the couple of the questions that guys who are, or, and gals who are just getting started, you know, kind of wonder, OK, well, how do I make a bid and, and how do I get him to sign a contract and stuff like that? Uh, how did you do that that was kind of challenging. It was kind of scary for us because we have no experience and no no one to look to until I come across you and you gave me my head start, you know, with your experience and and you shared the experience how you went about starting your own business. Um, I took some of that, some of uh, your your experience, plus you know a lot of stuff out there in Google. You search, you know, saw a lot yeah. of information resource out there that that's available nowadays that. I kind of put everything together and uh, just took a shot at it. You know, if I missed or hit, you know, I, I was hoping that I was doing the right thing. I think from all my bids, I, I, I feel, and I'm not 100% sure that one, only one account that I think I overbidded. But, you know, you learn from that. Yeah. But for the most part, I think I've been in the, uh, in the range from competitors around the area. So it kind of makes me feel good. You know, I had one account that actually told me that when I bid, I give them my bid, they said it was a little over, but just being a veteran, um, that kind of threw the other ones off their list, you know, just yeah. being a veteran and they supported our, you know, our cause and say, you know what, you were a little over, but we're, we'd rather go with you. Because yeah, you know, I, you're I've veteran heard the same and, thing. So. I've heard the same thing. P people will say, oh, well, yeah, this, I've never paid this much before, but because you guys are veterans and yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so have you found that your cause, the fact that you're, you're a military veteran and you're trying to hire as, hire as many military veterans as you can, uh, does, does, that does affect your ability to kind of start building a relationship with your clients? Oh yeah, that's definitely. I think being a veteran and just having that title on on, on the business is it's a big plus. It, it puts you in front of their list from the competitors. Of course, you you're gonna have a lot more expectations, but you know we're trained for that. We we're ready for that. We're ready to come in there and and service them with our best high quality that we can. And you know, at the end of the day, they're happy. You know, you have your good and good days, bad days, but the, I think what I notice having the relationship with our customers. The ability for us, for us owners and veterans, when they have a problem, we jump in there right there and then we we fix the problem right there, you know, versus I heard a lot of, one of the feedback I get from them is like, when you get too big from other competitors, um, the owner never shows up, you know, they send, they have a lot of yeah, turnaround right. with employees, so yeah. that's the biggest uh, complaints they have. So when there's a problem, it's, and it could be a minor problem, but the problem is that they don't fix it right there and then, or or they take forever to get it, or they never get to fix it. Yeah. But the difference with us being small business and veterans, you know, we we want to give them. We have the discipline and the pride to get there and make sure our customers are happy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, military training and experience, you know, it really transfers well into being a business owner. Don't you agree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Having that leadership and. and yeah. Working under pressure and, and, you know, all the training that we have in the military, some way, one form or another, we apply it in the civilian business world. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I always tell people, and I, I just want to get a little confirmation of this, that uh, if you really want to succeed in this business, nothing's going to be able to stop you. You can do it. And, and and don't you think that's the truth? I mean, it's just a matter of of applying yourself, uh, you know, focusing on your mission and and keep going until you accomplish it. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is true. And then one big thing I, I noticed with military maintenance, you know, um, the support. There's days yet you'll find yourself discouraged, but we keep in contact you know, with other military ma uh, military maintenance uh, member. We'll call yeah. each other, text each other, you know, share information, share resources. And that's great because at the beginning, when we first started, it's scary. And if you don't have that mentoring or that support, a lot of people get so discouraged and, and they just drop the, the whole idea. Uh, that's one thing I think that kept me going, even though through a tough time through COVID, having that support, like I said, and, you know, the mentoring as, as you and Tori that has given me through those four years that I've been in business um i haven't gave up so now that i yeah. see uh 
I see the wheel turn and I see it with this big account that I see the the tunnel. I, it, it, it's gives me more motivation to keep going. And, you know, now I'll get more experience and that's our, our goals are changing for the better to grow and have a better uh, business set in the future. So uh, after you've paid all of your expenses and your employees and stuff, uh, are you making an okay profit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not the greatest yet. But it, every year, it's it, we it's grown. It's it's growing every year. So we haven't hit negative numbers, which is good. So it's everything's positive. It's it's positive. Uh, the needle's going in the in the right direction. Well, I think this experience of taking care of a thirty thousand square foot account and and having to uh, have two shifts of employees and things of that sort, it, it's got to develop your confidence. I mean, that's a tough oh, thing yeah. to pull off. You know, and, and and that's that's 10 times harder than a normal account. And so if you can do this, you can do anything. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that's that, great. That, put me, that, that did put me in my confidence level at a different level. So I think once I, I settled this solid, I, I, I told myself already, like, I'm ready for the next one, like, like a big account like this. Yeah. So yeah, imagine, 30. imagine, imagine having at least five accounts that can pay you at least 100 grand a, a year. I mean, you're set. You know, you have half a million a year. To, that's our goal. So we're not there yeah, yet, well, but we'll eventually get there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's it's it's. I mean, you obviously know everything you need to know right now. I mean, and and this business is not complicated, wouldn't you agree? Yes, yeah. I was just about to say that it's not complicated. It's uh, and then technology. The cleaning industry has a lot of technology out there. A lot of chemicals. A lot of you know. A lot of resources that. You know, back in the day, we used to scrub with, you know, just a sponge and some basic soap and chemicals. But nowadays, there's a lot of variety that if you search it, uh, it'll make your job much easier and more more efficient, especially, you know, if you can you get in a, there, if you can get you in there. And clean, Sorry. All right, go ahead. I was just going to say, if you get in there and clean efficiently, you know, the and the less time you do it and with with the best quality you give. It's more money in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just do quality work. I mean, that's really what all people want and what they expect of you. And this is what you're promising to do. And so, you know, just just as you're saying, you know, you, all you can do is the best job you can do. I mean, it, 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 there's accounts just like you're running into now. You can't make them inspection ready <laughs> because there's too much activity, you know. Yes. But as as long as you can say in your heart, I've done a good job. We're doing a good job. You know, that's that's all you can ask of yourself. And this is a simple business that anyone can perform these services. And uh, and it's an easy business to build. So uh, what 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 kind of advice would you give to people who are, who are thinking about starting this business? Um, do not be afraid. You know, take the first step. It's scary, but take the first step. Be patient. Patient is the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, if you don't see anything coming in, just hang in there. Um, look for resources. Call us. Call call the, the military maintenance uh, members. You know, we're here to. The ones that are better are vets that been experienced already, we can probably guide you one way or another to uh, get you started. You know, it, it was hard for us, but now, you know, it gets easier and easier. And then, and we're willing to help. You know that you, you've been a big help for us. Uh, military maintenance. Uh, we want to we want to make sure that it gets growing nationwide. So that way we have a, the best reputation and we be, you know, beat the competitors out there and you know yeah. once we grow you know we want to do that and you know our goal our mission you said it we want to help our veterans that comes out you know and it's a good business it's not it's not this doesn't require a lot of skills it doesn't require a lot of capital but yeah my advice is uh, be patient uh don't be afraid to ask you know google call us you know anything that, that you think you need everything's out there Everything's out there and in the palm of your hand. Just don't be afraid. Take the first step. Yeah. And and our cause is veteran employment. You know, but the bigger your business grows, you know, the more veterans you can hire. And and there there now that you're an employer, there is a certain satisfaction that you have and also a sense of responsibility that you have when you have employees. 
you you have to keep your business in business because they're depending right. on you you know right and right. uh and 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 the people that are working for you are they working full time or do they also have jobs and are working extra to 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 earn extra money at when they clean for you or is this I a full time job no my employees right now are part time part time uh, jobs but the next step it's going to be you know hiring full time employees and you know introducing the company with benefits and everything else like you know like a big company we want to make sure we we provide them all those resources to them, you know, so we can keep growing. Yeah. Now, now, what, when, now, when you got your accounts, you said all your accounts by by referrals. How did you get these referrals? So, how how does one get a referral? Uh, I I guess you know it's when you work in a big company, uh, people see your work, and they start asking questions. You know, lately in this big account. Just going around cleaning, I had so many managers walk up to me, ask for my card, just because, you know, they like the work that we're giving them. So it's like, I introduce myself, and like, hey, I'm a, a manager, I'm a supervisor here, can I have your card? And I think that tells a lot, you know, from our, our quality that they're they're liking it. So once they do that, uh, we're hoping that they spread the word and they see our work yeah. and, you know, get get other companies to call us and hopefully we can service them. Well, well, that's wonderful. Greg, thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your busy day. You must be busy now. <laughs> yeah, it's getting busy. So it's fun, though. It's a learning curve, but it's really fun. Yeah, as your business grows and you start making money and you start seeing your profits increase and, you know, you, you have people who are depending on you, it, it gets kind of exciting. It's it's Growing a business is actually fun, isn't it? It is. <laughs> okay. It well, is. Thank just you don't, so much. don't get too stressed out, but don't get stressed out. Just be patient and everything will work out. Now, now, now let, let me just ask you th through this one more process here. Uh, so you've gotten a referral. And so now you're going to go talk to the person. And so how does that process take place from the time someone gives you a referral what do you do with the referral and 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 when you go to meet the person face to face can you kind of go through that pro process how does that work yeah they um they'll call me asking if we service such area and we'll go there and uh I set up a meeting for a walkthrough we once we get there we again we'll have a good walkthrough through the facility or offices and uh I'll tell them that we'll let me go back to my office and let me work out a, uh, a quote a bit. And um, I have a like a professional uh, template where I plug in the numbers with our you know company information, you know our background, and at the last page you will have your uh, your bid. We send those to the email. Uh, they agree. They sign the contract, and uh, we get started. We set the date to start. Wow. That's it's that easy. It, it it is easy. I mean, at first it's it's <laughs> it's complicated having those numbers because there's different ways you can go about either charging by square feet, charging by by the hour. But again, it, it takes a lot of things to kind of figure out what what how do you want to charge it. You know, it's just once you get comfortable yeah. with it, it's up to you how you want to manage that part of your business. Yeah, well, well, this has been invaluable. I think this is really helpful for veterans who might be interested in getting started and also for those that that have gotten started, but they haven't really gotten started. And uh, and so well, you're, you're aware of what that barrier is, because I think I, I remember that barrier. Uh, and that is I want to start this business. I'm ready to start this business. But now I got to walk out the door and get an account. <laughs> and, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's the scariest part. I mean, you got people that are good at, at sales. You know, my myself, I'll be honest, I, I'm not a big sales guy, but yeah. I've been blessed to have the referrals, which makes my job much easier. But, you know, if you have the skill background that you ha you know how to sell, I mean, you'll be having accounts left and right. You know, that's, yeah. that's a big, that'll be a big plus. Now, now, uh, in the location of the accounts that you have, usually uh, but the business owners know each other in the same area. They might belong to the same committee or the same chamber or something of that sort. 
And so uh, do you see the possibility of being able to go to the, the businesses nearby and say, hi, we're taking care of, you know, ABC across the street? You know, have you thought of that or? Yeah, what uh, actually, I had I had a good experience with one account that I, I got. It was a daycare. We started with a daycare and it's a small mm -hmm. town, you know, but around there, they have the, the town, uh, the village hall, the town hall, um, the city hall. And then they have a post office, library, and a bank. So just by taking the daycare, within a month or two, I was able to take the whole area with a bank, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the town hall, you know, daycare, the post office. So it was within just by spread of the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, I, I, I'm, I'm really glad you're saying this because I keep telling people the same thing that you're saying right now, <laughs> and it's, it's really nice to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. I mean, it's, it's not just my mouth; it's coming out of your mouth too. This is the, this is a real thing, and, and you know, I, I know both of us, you know, care a lot about veterans, particularly those transitioning out of the military that are kind of on wobbly feet. And uh, and this this is just a great, easy business for them to get started. And uh, and there's people like you to help them, you know, if they if they if they need a little nudge or need need a little bit of advice. And you always show up on our team meetings. And uh, and so uh, I'm I'm just really excited about, you know, uh, you know, built, rebuilding this team that, you know, COVID kind of broke down a little bit and. Uh, and having people all across the country, you know, join us on our team calls and and helping everyone grow their businesses. So so thank you so much, Greg. And God bless you and God bless your family and your business. And uh, and and thank you for being uh, uh, such a good business owner and representing U.S. veterans in such a good way. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you. God bless. Okay. God bless you. Take bye bye. Care.